Riding shotgun refers to the practice of sitting next to the driver in a moving vehicle. The term riding shotgun came around after the time of the stagecoach when somebody used to sit next to the driver holding a shotgun in case they ran into bandits. My name is Charlie Cook and I drive a lot. I like to talk to people while I'm driving, so I interview people in my car while I'm driving. Welcome to Riding Shotgun with Charlie. All right, before we start this episode of Writing Shotgun with Charlie, I want to say thank you to everyone that is watching the show here on YouTube. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do. And uh, once you subscribe, hit the notification bell because that's good for all YouTube stuff. If you would enjoy the show, I would appreciate it if you shared it with some of, of your friends. Uh, this is how we get the stagecoach across America. Glad you guys are here. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. All right, welcome to this episode of Riding Shotgun with Charlie. Today is a very, very special episode of Riding Shotgun with Charlie. I am filming the show outside of Detroit at Rick Ector's ladies event, and I'm gonna be doing a show with some ladies before they go shooting and then after they go shooting. And today we have Deandra. Yes. All right, I wanna make sure I say that right. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have Deandra. We just, um, I hate to say we talked her into this, but but here's the deal, she was about to walk out after she heard the safety briefing. She was a little freaked out about uh, hearing about the shell casings. So we set her up with one of Rick Ector's legally armed in Detroit lady shirts. Do you have the, the cool lady, you have the one in stilettos? That's the one that I like too. He's got the other lady, I don't like that one, I like this one. Anyway, so we set her up with one of Rick Ector's legally armed in Detroit shirts and we're gonna talk to Deandra for a few minutes and then we're gonna go shooting with her and we're gonna have a good time. All right, so you can't. Well, first of all, what what made you decide to to come to the event today? I wanted to come to the event because I was thinking about getting me a CPL mm -hmm. because of all the things that have been going on, and I want to protect myself at all times. And I said, this class is free. Why not go and um, be prepared and get myself ready for my first time and just see how it is very cool um what are you nervous about i'm nervous have you have you gone shooting I, before i never shot never before have. okay but i am a little nervous about shooting the gun are you concerned about the recoil yes about the recoil okay the um the guns that we're using here are nine millimeter semi-autos nine millimeters aren't bad there's 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 uh, as far as recoil is concerned there's a little bit of recoil there's there's guns that have more recoil um there are guns that certainly have less recoil these the nine millimeter guns are a good medium uh, a good medium medium amount of recoil medium amount of bang it's gonna be fun all right, so you're concerned about that. Um, have you taken any sort of firearms class before? No, this will be my first time. This will, this will be your first time. And you don't, never shot a gun, never learned anything about guns? No. All right, very cool. Um, one of the things you were concerned about is the hot brass. Yes. Yeah, you don't have to be concerned about the hot brass. Your friend even said she got hit with a hot brass right in her forehead, and she lived. <laughs> right? Uh, did she did she say it hurt? She said it didn't hurt. There's nothing to worry about. This is gonna be a breeze. It's gonna be a breeze. It's gonna be easy. Um, what else? Tell us some more um, about you. You want to get a gun to protect yourself? Yeah, and I want to learn how to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Like she said, you can't just shoot anybody. You gotta have a legal reason. Yeah. And before I jump off into something like that, mm -hmm. I will wanna make sure I'm covered in all ways. Because I don't wanna see myself get locked up over something stupid. 
then right. on top of that, I don't have that type of money <laughs> yet. But right. I understand the protocol or whatever, how to do things. Mm -hmm. But I just want to get myself ready. Yeah. I'm not in a rush, but you know, I, I want to see things before I try. Yeah, that's great. So this this event here is free for for ladies, um, and they go through twenty rounds of nine millimeter ammunition from a semi-automatic handgun. Um, it's I gotta say it's great that you are taking the time to learn about this. Uh, I'm a guy that I've been a gun instructor for I don't know, fifteen years or so, and there are plenty of people that I see that think they want to get a gun uh, and they don't they don't know how to use a gun. They don't know when they can use a gun. They don't know when they can't use a gun. And it's super important that people learn when they can and can, uh, when they can get a gun and what they can do with it and when they can use it legally and when they, when they can't use it legally. So the, um, the safety briefing, how do, the safety briefing that you did with Tanisha, Tanisha's one of our friends. She's been on the show. Uh, what did you think about the safety briefing? I think she explained it well. Yeah. I understood it all. She did a great job. And um, she got us ready for yeah. what we're about to do today. All right. And I like that for her. And I appreciate her for that. And I want to thank everybody that really came to the conclusion to set this up for ladies because it's, it's, it's getting bad out here. Mm. And I understand why they these ladies to protect themselves in the real world. Yeah, absolutely. There's no reason that women shouldn't be able to protect themselves. True. And um, uh, in the last two and a half years, since the beginning of the the pandemic and all the the COVID lockdowns, the um, I heard the gun the gun ownership up went up in, with women. From 22%, it went up to 42% of gun owners are women, and a huge chunk of them are um, are African American black women, which which is uh, which I think is really cool. There's a ton of ladies that are here. Uh, I think yesterday there were 487. I'm not exactly sure, but there were 487 women that uh, that sat through the class. Now uh, I'm going to reassure you. We're we're going to go do some shooting. You're not going to hurt yourself. I've never, never had a, shooting, a student hurt themselves. I'm not starting today, and I am not starting with you. We're gonna have a good time. You're gonna shoot. We're gonna go through the fundamentals of shooting. We're going to show you how to grip the gun, how to press the trigger nice and smooth. Uh, we're gonna have you shoot 20 rounds out of a semi-automatic handgun. You're gonna come out with a target. It's gonna look awesome. And um, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be fun. So, uh, what do you think you're gonna go after this? After you, um, after you do this, I don't know. Try to get a little more training. Yeah, mm -hmm. more training. More training is always good. Is even as a guy that's an instructor, I, I try to take some. And training I want to check year. out guns too. Mm. Well. That fits me. Yes. I'm not just gonna. Oh, I want a nine millimeter and this and that. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Good. You gotta I get something. I want something that fits me. It's gonna fit your hand. Yes, and I want to learn how to use it the right way. Very cool. This is gonna be a breeze. You were gonna have so much fun. All right, well, we are pulling up to the recoil range here in, uh, uh, this is, this is, is this Romulus? Taylor, okay, it's Taylor. I thought it was Taylor. But I, I don't know, maybe the hotel we're seeing, it's wrong. I don't know what the hotel, hotel is. Anyway, so we're gonna do some shooting and um, we are gonna come back we're gonna. I'm gonna do some shooting with you. We're gonna get a picture of you with your target, and we're going to. Um, we're gonna come back, and we're gonna talk with more with Deandra after we're done shooting. Hi. Remember, keep your arms out straight, and kind of lean forward at the waist. Bring your arms all the way out. Hold my hand. Yeah, your hand. I would put. Yeah, I would put your fingers closer together. Put 
Put on the red dot, put it in the face. Awesome. That is awesome. Bam! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Recoil Firearms in Taylor, Michigan. We have Deandra. She just fired right. 20 rounds out of a Glock 17. 20. 20. 25. All right, 25. I should put an extra five in. So we uh, we went through the first 20 rounds, and then you're like, hey, can I shoot fast like that? And then we had to shoot five rounds pretty quickly, which was cool. What'd you think? I think I did a good job for it to be my first time. I was scared, nervous, all in one. But overall, I really like it. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep practicing, but for right now, I did a good job. And You did an awesome job. I, yeah, I'm looking into getting my CPO now. You ought to. So, uh, any hot brass? You were concerned about hot brass? Yeah, I any was brass? concerned. I got hit one time in my arm. It was okay. It was just a little sting. A little sting. Yeah. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. All's well. We got some video of you shooting, which I think we're going to put in the uh, put in the video, okay. which is good. No concerns. How did the gun feel in your hand? It felt good. Yeah. It was. It wasn't too loose. It wasn't too. You know, it was nice. It was nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we and were, I liked it how it fit in my hand. All right, so the gun we were shooting was a full-size Glock. Um, the, the folks that provided the Glock, I can't remember. A-E-I. A-X-E-I. A-T-E-I, I think I think is what it is. We'll, we'll put their logo in here. We'll put a... Um, uh, we'll put a link to these guys. Uh, they do a lot of custom work on Glocks, and this one they, they put a lot of a lot of custom into. But it was a full size Glock 17. We had, since we're in free America, we can have 17 round magazines, and it's not an issue and a concern, which was cool. And um, I think we were shooting ammo provided. I believe it was provided by the Gun Food, our good buddy Patrick from thegunfood.com. Um, yeah, it wasn't bad. Full size Glock. We did end up holding. Um, there was a little bit of limp wristing, um, and limp wristing is when you don't have a um, good you, grip. Yeah, you don't have a good grip on a, a solid wrist, and when the gun recoils, um, there's issues with the gun uh, with the next round uh, getting into the uh, into the chamber. So we had a little bit of that and wasn't sure if it was the gun or if it was limp wristing. Uh, you did end up holding a different gun. I think it was a, I want to say it was a Smith & Wesson Shield. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, it was, so was too yeah. small, right. It was too small, uh, which is fine. And, um, but you like the Glock. Glock's right. a great guns to go with. Glocks are really good because they will take a beating. You can shoot the snot out of them and not have any issues or any problems, which is really cool. So what's going to be the next thing you do? Um... I'm going to probably go back to the gun range a few times and yeah. then, you know, proceed with taking my class to get my certificate and everything else. And then I'm going to check out a few guns I would like to purchase. Nice. And go for it. And, and make a purchase. Yeah. Very cool. I'm so proud of you. We're going to put a picture of your target in here. Okay. Um, out of the, the 20 shots you fired onto the target... Uh, the way they score them is by wherever there's a break in the target. If it's uh, if it breaks the number, it goes to the higher number. And out of, are you ready for this? So you have um, uh, shooting at the target. Um, you had three nines, and the rest of them were tens. So out of, oh, this is see, I'm a band teacher. I'm not a math teacher. So you are you good at math? Please say yes. Wait, so... <laughs> so, we're so we're looking at uh, 20 shots out of 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, 20 shots at 
target's worth 10, mm -hmm. right? The highest score is a 10, so that's what, 200 points? Mm -hmm. Out of 200 points, you scored 197. That's pretty awesome. Three but points off? Three points off, there were three nines that you got. And um, other than that, that was great shooting. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm coming back next year, mm -hmm. and I hope I'm gonna see you, and, and you're gonna be like nailing everything with your own gun. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be way cool. All right, so the next thing. Uh, we just went through this. You're gonna, gonna take another class. You can get more practice. Here's what I think is cool in uh, free America, not where I live. Um, where I live, they don't have, we have sportsman's clubs where you can go shooting. There's only a few places where you can go and rent guns. Most of the places you have to have your own gun and you have to be a member of. So when I, when I hear people say, oh yeah, we're just gonna go to the range and we're gonna get some practice. I'm like, I don't really know what that's like. They're like, oh, we pay a range fee. I'm like, I don't know what a range fee is. You pay the membership and you, and you can go whenever you want. I'm so stoked for you. This is awesome. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you uh, taking all the time. I'm glad that I get to do the shooting with you. I Me think too. that made you a little bit more comfortable instead of being with you know one crazy white guy and then with another crazy white guy. Um, so yeah, so there was some consistency. And um, I, Deandra, I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anything else you want to tell people? Um, try it out. Great experience. Some people may be nervous like me, but overall, it's a nice thing to do. And I mean, why not try to protect yourself? When, yeah. When you have the sign, don't wait too long. But overall, I had a great, great experience. With awesome. Chance. And I'm, I'm impressed that you went. You like you were ready to walk out of the store and be like, yeah, I don't want to do this. And. Uh, right. Tanisha really got you to, to stick around and stay. Yeah, I got a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so we had to bribe her. Tanisha set her up with one of uh, Rick's League in the Army Detroit shirts. So that's what she got. So she got to shoot 25 rounds for free. She got a free t-shirt. And she got to be on some crazy guy's YouTube channel. It's not so bad. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right, it is Charlie here. I have a couple of ladies from the Rick Ector event. We have Takaira mm -hmm. and her mother, Keisha. Yep. She's in the back, all right. And we're gonna, these ladies, uh, Keisha has done some shooting before. This is not her first time at Rick's event, but this is the first time. At this event. You're, yeah, I was gonna say Takaira? Yeah. Okay, but I'm like, no, it's not. I know there's Kyra. Who cares? Um, this is your first time, so you're here. Are you nervous? Are you scared? Um, I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. What are you nervous about? Um, well, when I go on like social media and stuff, I always see a lot of gun violence, so I'm a little scared about that. Oh, um, buckle up. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> what is it with people not buckling up here in Michigan? <laughs> um, you guys obviously don't live in occupied territory. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little nervous about that. A lot of stuff I see on social media. Yeah. I don't really like holding it, but I'm a, I'll be okay. I think once I get in there. I think you're gonna be fine. It's it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. And you, you know, Tanisha did a great uh, safety briefing with you ladies. Yeah. And um, shooting's a lot of good, clean fun. Yeah. So uh, the the thing, so the difference between the stories that you hear in the media mm -hmm. and what you're doing today is um, the stories you hear in the media are often people don't that don't have licenses or permits, or maybe they don't have a firearm legally, and um, they're not target shooting. They're not committing crimes and you know mass murders and, and and whatnot. And that's that's not what you're going to be doing. You're just going to shoot a gun. Yeah. Like the gun doesn't know. This is this is the thing. The gun doesn't know who's a good guy and who's a bad guy. Right. You press the trigger and the gun does what it's supposed to do. It goes bang. Mm -hmm. The bullet comes out. The slide comes back. The shell case pops out. The bullet goes forward. And all the gun does is fire. It, it doesn't determine whether it's a good guy or a bad guy. It just shoots. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm kind of excited. Yeah. The, the guns that we're using are all semi-autos. Um, semi-autos aren't more dangerous or less dangerous. The media does like to tell us that semi-autos are bad. Um, and I can't use a serious voice when I, when I say those sorts of things because I think it's a bunch of baloney. But uh, semi-autos are, are just firearms. It's a, it's a type of action.
on the uh, on the on the firearm. It's how the gun fires, uh, it fires, loads, fires, and unloads. And um, that's that's all there is to it. Uh, the the guns that we're using, some of them are uh, Smith and Wesson M and P's. Some are from Smith and Wesson Shields, and there are some Glock 17. So it's gonna be easy. Okay. It's gonna be fun. And you've never done target shooting before? Yeah. No. no? Never. Shoot, shoot bow and arrows? No. No? Mm -hmm. What do you do for fun as as a teenage girl in Detroit? Uh, I like reading. Okay. A lot. I do reading. Reading. Reading's good. Um. Most, I mostly work. I work all the time. Yeah. So, uh, as an old guy, that never ends. <laughs> so, ease your way into it. Yeah, I mostly just work. Mostly just work. Yeah. Cool. What do you do for work? I work at a fast food place. Nice. This is what teenagers do. You know what the purpose of having a job at a fast food restaurant is? What? To realize that you don't want to work at a fast food restaurant? I don't. I don't. I, it's, it's not bad. The employees there, they're good. But working in general is just, <laughs> it's not for me. Working in fast food restaurants suck and don't pay a lot of money because that's not what you're supposed to do as an adult. Yeah. It's what you do as a teenager. And you say, you know what? These jobs suck. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I worked at McDonald's uh, from 15 to 20 when I was 15 to 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucked. It's, it's, it sucked down. It still sucks now. Yeah. But that's I, I, what I like now is when I when I go to work, I don't have to come home smelling like fries. Right. So I smell like chicken. <laughs> there you go. Are you do you work at the God's Chicken? No, I work at Captain J's. Okay. Plug for Captain J's. <laughs> uh, Captain J's. So I come home smelling like chicken and that's, sweat and food. Uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> All right. So Keisha, you've you've gone shooting before. What? Um, how many times have you been to this event? This is my second year attending this event. Your Last second year, year was my mother and my daughter that's with me today. Wait, my are you the lady? Daughter. Are you the lady that brought her her mother and other daughter? Yes, my so, mother is here and two of my other daughters plus the tire. Okay, because yeah. I know Rick's talked about you before. He said we had one lady that came, um, and then she came with her daughters, and then the next year she came with her daughters and her mother. Yes. I'm like, dude, if there are four generations shooting, <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. That would be really it, though. cool. We really do, and we appreciate it. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. So, have you um, have you taken the process, uh, the steps to get your uh, concealed carry permit here in yes, Michigan? Sir. You I've did. Had it for quite some time. Awesome! And did you do it because of Rick's event? No, I had it before Rick's event, but it it's always um, nice to be refreshed on yeah. different things. And I just really enjoy spending time with my family as well. So we make it. Oh my god! Event. It's yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh! You're bringing all the girls. Yes, this is her first time, and my main concern. Well, not my main concern. My main reason is for gun safety. Mm. I want them to be comfortable and holding a gun and knowing what they should. And should so that's my main reasons all the time. Excellent. Yeah. Now, all right, I'm going to be super gun, gun geeky here. Sure. What do you have? What do you carry? Oh. I don't know the name of my gun. Oh, <laughs> get out. I'm I stopping the car. Well. Yeah. No. I have a little gun. I have a little because gun. Because that's what I'm comfortable with carrying. Okay. And I know I can handle it. Because I, I see a lot of people carry these really big guns and the mm -hmm. names are fancy but they don't want to carry it because it's so heavy and they they feel like oh i'll just leave it at home well i carry mines for safety i want to be able to know how to pull it i want to be able to yeah. be comfortable with it so whatever the name of it is i'll let you know later <laughs> all right we'll check it out um i hate to tell you this girl but guns are like potato chips you can't have just one True. so you get the one that you learn how to shoot on which might be a little bigger and a little right. easier to shoot and then you get a smaller one to carry and right. then you know and then all of a sudden you uh i hate to sound like the media and i'm going to use my funny voice here you have a cache of weapons <laughs> um you know and <laughs> you know how many guns you need to have just one just one more just one more. Yes, it is just like a parachute. I think that's what you're getting at. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally what I'm getting at. You just need one more gun. That's okay. it. One more gun. That's all you need. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, so you, all right, so you got a gun you carry it. Awesome. Yes. Very cool. You're not sure what it is. A little slacking, but that's okay. You gotta learn what it is. You got I'm not I'm not gonna kill anybody. Um, I, I'm one of those guys, like, you know, I, when I was into it, I'm like, oh, I got some uh, uh, Glock or uh, whatever, Smith & Wesson. But then after you get into it for a while, you're like... You know, and I really am into it. I just, I can't remember. All right. I know the, might, the cameras, the cameras are nervous. Yeah, All right. The cameras make us nervous. Let's yeah. go with that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
with it. All right, very cool. Well, we are almost back to the range. You're gonna shoot for the first time. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do some shooting as well. Yes. Um, I wanna get pictures of you ladies with your targets. I don't know, I think I'm gonna interview somebody else while you guys are shooting. That's kind of what the game plan is. Um, so get some pictures with your targets and uh, we're gonna put those in the video. Okay. Cool. All right, this is fun. and we'll be back. All right, we are back with Takaira and Keisha, and the ladies went shooting. Mm -hmm. Did you hurt yourself? No. Of course not. Of course not. We've got some after action, after action report here. Um, we got some pictures of the ladies with their targets, which we're going to include right here, uh, so you get to see how their targets are. How was it? It was nice. It, yeah. It's not really my cup of tea. I didn't really like shooting it. I think I closed my eyes a couple of times too. Yeah, you, have, you said you have a, two dominant eyes, and both of them are closed. That's, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I shot with like one of my eyes closed, but then yeah. like as like I pulled the trigger, like both of my eyes shut. Sure. Yeah, I say, uh, and ideally, people shoot with both eyes open. Some people shoot with one eye closed, and some people shoot with both eyes closed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you want to focus with one uh, one eye can look down from the front sight to the rear sight, yeah. or look at the the dot, mm -hmm. whether it's a green dot or a red dot. <laughs> uh, only one eye can look at the dot through and through the sights. Mm -hmm. So cool. It was nice. I liked it. Any hot brass? Mm. Get hit in the head, hit in the arm. I mean, I feel like the shells yeah. touched me a little bit. But they bounced off and it wasn't a big deal? No. I really like Tanisha's explanation of uh, fried bacon, or bacon, bacon grease. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Um, not your cup of tea, but your target was great. Uh, were you nervous about the, the recoil or the bang? Yeah. Yeah? I was jumpy very but much very much i didn't like it no mm -hmm. but did you get did you did you get through it like like sometimes when people shoot they, the, they hear the bang and they they're like Rah! they freak out a little bit and then they they kind of get used to it mm -mm. you I didn't get, get used to it no. okay well what i would say we know that your mom doesn't know what kind of gun she has mm -hmm. but um if you wanted to try it again I would probably start with a smaller caliber bullet. Uh, start with something like a, a 22, and there's not a lot of recoil and not a lot of bang with it. Um, and then you, there's there's less of that you have to worry about. But yeah. um, but sh you know, shooting's not for everybody, and that um, that is okay. Um, it's not for everyone. If it's not for you, it's not a big deal. It definitely wasn't for me. Wasn't for you? Okay, uh -huh. that's all right. All right, and mom, how did you shoot Keisha? Oh, and I just wanted to say that I have a three. A 380, very good. Ruger. So, uh, no, I had a great time. Uh, nice. My instructor was fantastic, which I always get really good instructors. Yeah. So even though I think I know what I'm doing, it helps to really like have somebody to correct certain things to remind me. So mm -hmm. yeah, I had a good time. I always do. Yeah, shooting shooting is always a good time. Yes. So the more uh, I'm gonna put a plug in for. Um, shooting on a regular basis as we pull a u-turn right here in the intersection um shooting on a regular basis is good because then you can uh you can kind of pick up and build on the skills that you have yeah. and um it gets uh, it gets easier and it gets more fun and and very cool i think i would want to do it again oh good <laughs> i think you should see so i would go back so uh, i'm glad to hear that so this is what i'm going to say like i said um if you go back another time, shoot 22s that have a smaller bang, have less recoil. Uh, you don't have to worry about that at all. Shooting a 22 is going to have almost no recoil. And it's going to be easier, uh, easier to take. And um, and then you'll... Oh, yeah. Thank you. We're almost done. And she finally puts the... Sheet. How come... I want to know this. How come it didn't... How come like the didn't... It didn't go off? Can she be that light? That this, it, she didn't recognize somebody was sitting in it. <laughs> um, yeah, start with the 22, and it's it's easier to recoil, easier to manage. I, I am one of these guys that thinks that 22. Uh, I call it. I say 22 is a gateway drug. Because mm -hmm. once you start shooting 22s, and you're like, oh my god, this is awesome, this is cool, and then you start shooting something, uh, shooting cartridges and bullets that are a little bit bigger. But um, I like that Rick does this event with nines because um, nines are a it's it's a standard round and and. Um, there's a lot of choices for uh, different guns that are nine millimeter. And, um, yeah, it's good to make fun. Mm -hmm. So shoot a 22. 
22 each time. Less recoil, less bang. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then you'd be like, oh my god, this is awesome. And then after you shoot the 22 for a while, you'd be like, all right, we need something bigger. <laughs> we need a bigger bang. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And I just want to say that we will be having another family event coming to recoil firearms. Just to say thank you as well. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. And we'll be it'll be more of us, definitely. Very cool. They have don't blocked off the um, the range for the whole mm -hmm. weekend for Rick's event. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, that's very good for recoil. It's a it's a really nice range. It is. And it I is. like the people there. They're very friendly. Well, I'll tell you this: is is one of the people uh, we came from all over the country to do this. Wow. Yeah, okay. we had we had. Uh, I came from Massachusetts. Some friends came from Ohio, uh, Illinois, uh, Georgia. So the, we had a guy yesterday that was with us. He's at the other range today. He came here from California. Um, okay. There were some other ladies from from Illinois. Uh, we came from all over the country to do this. Well, so welcome. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. So I get to see, um, I get to see people that are gun owners, and uh, as I said before, all the gun owners are great people. So I love it. I can't wait to see you guys next year. Next year, you're gonna have another gun, and you're gonna yes, know what I, it is. I'm gonna know. And you're not gonna have to do any research. That's right. Did you call home to find out? No, what it was? I text my husband. <laughs> oh, He's geez. the one that bought it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He buys the ammunition and everything. So. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping you have another gun, and I hope that you've gone shooting a few more times. Mm -hmm. You're not old enough to have a gun yet, <laughs> but you probably can have a rifle or shotgun. All right. No. So, ladies, thank you very much for being on the show. Don't, don't go so fast. It makes me look like a creep. Um, thank you guys for watching the show. We hope you enjoy these uh, videos with the new shooters, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, in this segment, we are talking to Cassandra. Cassandra has never shot before, and she's shooting for the first time here at Rick Ector's event at the Recoil Range in Taylor, Michigan. Cassandra, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm glad. You uh, dress like a woman that's got a lot of personality. All right, thank you. Yes, yeah, so hot red. There you go. I know, hot red, wild hair. I love it. I love it. All right, so you're at Rick's event. You haven't shot before. Um, how come you haven't shot before? Come on, girl. Well, first of all, I came up in a household with sisters, no brothers, no yep. uncles, no dads. So, and my mom just did not like guns mm. whatsoever. So that's the way I carried my life with my family. Yep. When I started raising kids, I didn't allow my sons to play with toy guns. I never bought a gun. And so I know guns is really needed for protection. Mm. Not just guns, but I need some protection because I'm a single parent by myself now. Yeah. Well, my kids is all grown and moved out, but I'm home alone. And with all the crime that's happening today, mm. it scares me every time I look at the news. Yeah. Now, do you live here in, uh, in Detroit metro area? I stay in Taylor, yes. Okay. Very cool. So you're like nice and local. Um... Did your boys eventually get into shooting or not? Yes, my son. They did. did. I was just talking to him and he said, as a matter of fact, recoil mm -hmm. is where he purchased his first gun. Nice. Let's hear mm -hmm. for recoil. Very cool. Do you know what he bought? Not that, not that you I should I don't, know. but okay. he brought it over and showed it to me and I was like, eee, okay. Mm. <laughs> Looks good. Looks pretty. Okay. <laughs> don't point it. Don't point it at anybody. He's showing me every which way that he can handle it and, yeah. and all the safety procedures. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah, just put it away, put it back in the case. That's cool. But now I want my own. Good, 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 good. Um, are you concerned about doing any shooting? A little nervous with the recoil, no, the, the no, hot spit brass? I trust you guys. And no, I'm not. I'm ready. All right. Yes. Very cool. Um, after, so in Michigan, I don't, do you have to have, a, I, I can't remember, do you have to have a permit to purchase things in Michigan? Or is it just to carry? I'm not sure. I'm not either. Okay. <laughs> never, never really inquired. All right. Well, so, I did take an online class years ago, but yeah, it didn't go any further than that. Gotcha. Just a certificate. So, do you think after this, you're going to consume, uh, can continue and pursue getting your, yeah, uh, your Michigan CPL? Yes, I do. Very cool. Uh, how many friends are you with today? 
how many friends. Yeah. I came by myself. By yourself? Yeah. Really? Determination, yes. Ah. <laughs> now, you should have brought some friends with you. Really? Why? One, because it's more fun when you're with your friends. Okay. That's a that's a simple okay. one. Okay. And then you get your girl you get your friends, you know, your your girlfriends into this and uh, and they'll want to go shooting with you too. Yeah. And then you you know you build that into yeah. into the um into your group of people. Now however I do have a sister and her and her husband and her daughter and some friends of hers, they go out to the shooting range and we said we're gonna make a date of that. Me, cool. her and my other sister. Yeah. Because I don't think she ever shot before what she owns. Nice. I was the um in I didn't grow up hunting or shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, I honestly I didn't get into it until I was thirty. And um which is recently uh, but uh, I got into it uh, to be able to protect my kids, okay. and I was the first one in my neighborhood that yep. got into this. Mm -hmm. So it was sort of a um, sort of one of those things where I'm like, "Hey guys, you guys want to get together on Sunday afternoon?" They're like, "Yeah, we're gonna go watch football and drink beers." <laughs> I'm like, "No, we're gonna go shoot guns." They're like, mm, yeah. I don't know if my wife will appreciate that." I'm like, okay. eh, "Don't tell her; it'll be fine. Sorry it'll about be okay. That, oh, that's all right. That's for you." Okay. But I'm not gonna answer. This is more important. All right, oh, let's you. keep Thank going. You. So uh, yeah, so I was the first one to do this, and then I uh, I took a couple of the neighborhood guys out, and they ended up um, getting interested and in getting their licenses They're as well. It, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. So you got to bring your you got to bring your 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 friends down I and sure get them will. into this as well. Awesome! I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> shooting um, shooting is a lot of fun. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's. I, I've I've had plenty of times where I've. Um, uh, what's the old saying? A uh, a bad day at the range is no. A bad day at the range is better than a good day at work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that sort of a thing. So <laughs> shooting's just a lot of fun. Okay, can I ask you? Can ask I interview me. you? Oh my gosh! Uh, have you have had that before? I've had a couple of people ask okay. me questions, and then I, 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 I'm not going to go too far. With that's questions. okay. I am my favorite topic, so, and I am an expert on me. <laughs> okay, good. I am single too. I need that. Okay, <laughs> okay. And you have some. Oh. All righty, yeah. let's go. <laughs> so, what makes shooting so fun to you? Uh, all of it. Like, it's when I the first time I went shooting, mm -hmm. um, I shot a Smith and Wesson model six seventeen. Okay. And it's a twenty two caliber ten shot revolver. Okay. And the first few shots I fired, I was like, Oh my god, this uh -huh. is the this is the coolest thing ever. Like, oh really? Do what other, did you What did you aim at? Uh, we were just shooting at targets. Okay. That's all. We were just shooting at okay. a close target. It was a uh, I, in Massachusetts. You have to take a class in order to get a license before you can purchase anything. Okay. And I took a. Uh, you don't have to do a live firing class. And I was. I already had a gun license. I took a non live firing class to get my license. Okay. And I didn't purchase anything. And then I took a uh, a live fire class. And I remember shooting. And I'm like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing. Do other people know about this? Like I felt like I was in some sort of a club. <laughs> and then I said to myself, you know what? I could quit drinking to do this. <laughs> I mean, not, not for forever, but for a little while, okay. just to put some money into it. Because it is, uh, I will say this, it, it is a pretty expensive hobby. Okay. You know, um, I figured out in, in Massachusetts, people spend yeah. uh, 800 to to $1,000 oh, when they go, no, 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 when they go from, uh, from, hey, I think I want to buy a gun, to having a gun yeah. with all the safety gear, all yeah. the ammunition okay. at a shooting range okay. that they belong yeah. to with their own gun. So by the time... By the time they've done everything, they've, they've paid for a class, they paid for the license, yeah. they bought a gun, safety gear, ammo, cleaning kit, and joined a shooting range. It's honestly, it's easy, eight hundred to a thousand bucks. Okay. So it is, you know, and then you buy a new gun that's new, yeah. new ammunition, and yeah. you know, maybe some new yeah. gear. So it, it does end up being an expensive hobby. Um, guns are like potato chips. Mm -hmm. You can't have just oh, one. Oh, I love them. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> okay. You can't have just one. Oh, really? Yeah, you buy one. You're like, oh, I like that one. See, this one's for this, and oh, it, you know, this okay. one's for when I do hit this, when I do this sort of shooting. But this one's for for carrying. I got something a little smaller for carrying. But then okay. I got a gun that's for competitive shooting. Okay. So you end up with a bunch of guns, and it's just, it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's a feeling. Uh, it is an empowering feeling, and it's. It's it's just good clean fun, okay. and yeah, it's good clean <laughs> okay. fun. I do. And I um I take I've taken my kids out before I became an instructor. I take my kids shooting, mm -hmm. um, and they were four and five years old the first time I took I them out. I was gonna ask you so, that next. Yeah, <laughs> I also uh, I make videos playing the trumpet with one hand and shooting a gun with the other. Oh gosh. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get on your website. Yes, you. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> and um, what I started to do when I started making, I call them gun gram videos. And when I started making the gun grams, <laughs> I, uh, what did I do? I, um, I started doing Christmas songs. So I would figure out a Christmas song, I'd play it on the trumpet, I'd figure out who's going to shoot, when they're going to shoot, if they need any magazine changes and stuff like that. And then okay. um, I'd make, I'd practice this with my kids and then we go out and film this and I'd make this gun gram, I call it the, the Cook Family Christmas Gun Gram. Oh. And every year, we, every year we pick a different song and I make the video, I edit it, I put it on YouTube and send it to everybody as a Christmas gift instead of sending Christmas cards, right? And they enjoy it. Yeah, it's good stuff. So for me, it's a lot of family fun. Yes. You know, taking the kids out. Um, when my son, uh, when my kids turned 15, they got their FID cards. When uh, when my son turned 12, I bought him a 20 gauge shotgun. He's like, I don't want a shotgun. I'm like, you want a rifle? I don't want a rifle. But he's here for hand. At 12 so, years old? At 12, yeah. It was mostly one of these things for, it was really for me. Okay. For me to say I bought my gun, my son a gun when he was 12. <laughs> but he didn't, uh, he couldn't take possession of it until he got an FID card at 15. Yeah. A firearms okay. identification card. Um, and I am a bad dad because I did not do this for my daughter. What makes you a bad dad? Maybe uh, she wanted to be a princess. She did want to be a princess. <laughs> but um, I got a, a gun for her at the beginning of the pandemic. Oh, did you really? I did. So everything was, well, we got 14 days to flatten the curve. We need to go get a shotgun in case, okay. in case somebody comes in. So I got a shotgun for her. So, yeah, it's a lot of good, clean fun. You're going to have a great time today. Um, the people that I've met, I've been doing my show for five years. Mm -hmm. The people I've met in the gun community are mm -hmm. really... Uh, really some of the nicest people and um, you know we're, we're polar opposites uh, if you saw me at a shooting range someplace and said hey listen tell me about your gun can I shoot it uh, yeah of course here's a little you know here's how you shoot here's the fundamentals you know take my gun and shoot it and I'll I'm, use my ammo I don't care I want I want to get more people into into the shooting sports yeah um, one of the one of the things for me that started happening after becoming a gun guy is uh, getting into um, getting into fighting for gun rights, becoming a bit of an activist. Okay. And I've I've had the opportunity to travel around the country to interview people for my show. Oh. Um, but I've had the opportunity to speak at a bunch of bunch of events around the country as well. Okay. So, um, and you know, be on radio shows and a couple of TV shows and podcasts and all sorts of stuff. So. Wonderful. Yeah. I, I love this. My There was a lady today that came up to me. She's one of the instructors. And um, she's like, oh, hey, you're, you're Charlie from Riding Shotgun with Charlie. I'm like, yeah, I am. She's like, yeah, I, I came here from Chicago. I, I listen to your show all the way up here. Wow. And as she was telling me this, my daughter was walking away from me. And I'm like, girl, you need to hear this. Your father is cool. They're tired of hearing it. Oh, That's what God. it is. The kids be tired of hearing all the goodness in this. Anyway, I am going to drop you off. You are going to go shooting, okay. and uh, you're going to come back out, and we're going to talk about this. Um, we're going to talk about this when you come back. Sound like a plan? Um, sounds like a great plan. All right, we are back with Cassandra, and she is going to tell us how it went. How did it go? Um, it was a great experience. I've yeah. never shot a gun before, so it, I did get a little sweaty yeah. in the palms and, and a bit, but I really did like the experience. Nice. Yes. Do you know what kind of gun you shot? Did you shoot the Glock or the Smith & Wessons? I believe he said it was a Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, how was the recoil? Was it more? Was it less? Did it freak you out, the no. bang? No, no, no. Well, some of the bang that was next to me, but not my bang. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I had an expected bang, so that didn't freak me <laughs> out. <laughs> right, because when other people are shooting, you don't know when they're yes, shooting, but when you're yes, shooting, yes. you know when the bang is coming, for sure. So, yeah. I hit a couple ladies yesterday, but really super jumpy, because they hit a gunshot <laughs> and they're not expecting it. Yes. And so there was a the little shaking up. I got a little jumpy at times, and so on. I think that's when I got a little sweaty in my hands. But yeah. It was okay. I kind of prepared myself for the next one, if you could say that. <laughs> Even though I didn't know when it would come, but I was kind of prepared right. to know something was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. You eventually get to the point where you don't even notice it. It's, <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, it's it's the line from the Blues Brothers. How often does the train go by? So often you don't even notice. <laughs> exactly. You know? So that's cool. That is that is awesome. Uh, any, air, um, you know, brass end up in weird places? 
Yeah, yeah of course, of course, of course, of course, maybe once, maybe <laughs> twice, or three times. <laughs> three times? <laughs> yeah. Oh my so, gosh. But I handled it well. Yep. I jumped back and I put down the weapon and I cleared down. it away. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I always, uh, I always tell ladies, I said, look, as much as I appreciate it, you need to wear a high collar shirt. Yeah, so, I realized that. Yeah. I thought about that as they were telling us before I went into the range. Sure. Uh, that, yeah, I looked at my outfit and I said, this is so unappropriate for this. <laughs> so, so I will remember next range, time right? I'll wear some clothes oh, and shoes. Oh, what is, it with the, what is it with the people in Michigan that don't buckle up? I do. Do you have to buckle I do. up? I do. I do always buckle up. I'm ah. so sorry. I got, so I have two incidences where you don't buckle up. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Well, now an accident. and the other time. Yeah, no. <laughs> the two times I been swear. In the car I'm sorry. That's all right, Michigan, but I normally buckles up. <laughs> I'm serious. That's all right, man. You not, got me. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Um, yeah. So a couple of hot, a couple of hot pieces of brass. Yeah. Bang was a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, was the bang too much? The re was the recoil too much? No, it no? wasn't. No. Okay, good. No. Because I talked to one of the other ladies, and uh, she was a young gal. That was mm -hmm. uh, shooting for the first time, mm -hmm. and she said it wasn't really for her. She didn't really dig it. Oh. But then, by the time you know, by the time we finished talking, she said she might be interested in doing it again. Yeah. And I said, so if you're gonna do it again, and the recoil and the bang was an issue, then you get a gun that's a smaller caliber, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that would be the way to go. So there's less recoil, there's less bang, yeah. and um, you know, shooting shooting a 22 doesn't have a lot of recoil, doesn't have a lot of bang, and it's and it's still a good time. And like I said, uh, guns are like potato chips. You, you can't have just one. <laughs> so um, you know, you get yourself you get yourself a twenty two, and then you get yourself a nine, and then you get yourself a, a thirty eight revolver. Okay. Did I did I tell you how many guns how many guns you should have? No, but tell me. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Oh, I haven't even got my first one. Well, that's, so that's there you go. One There's one. your one more. Okay. And then after you have that one, you are like okay. you know what? I think I need one more gun. Okay. And you're like, you know, you know oh, what? So it's I just one more story. Yeah, yeah, I it's get the it. never-ending story. Yeah, okay. Exactly. All just right. just like she was in purses. Ah, uh, there we go. See? <laughs> there we go. Cool. <laughs> so uh, what's, the, what's the next step going to be for you? Well, I'm to, gonna... So you, so I, where I live in Massachusetts, uh -huh. they, uh, we have sportsman's clubs. Okay. And there are only a handful, like a small handful of ranges where you can mm -hmm. rent guns. Okay. And in Massachusetts, you can't have a gun without a license. Okay. So um, I'm not sure, not sure what it is here in Michigan. You might be able to buy guns without having a license. Um, but if you want to carry, then you have to have a permit exactly. for that. So yeah. I, I think that's what it might be. I'm yeah. not 100% sure. But um, in Massachusetts, you have to have a permit. Uh, you have to have a gun license in order to buy okay. to buy any kind of firearm or ammunition, and then you go to a sportsman's club and you can shoot there. So when there's places like the recoil range where yeah. the, the event was at today, mm -hmm. um, we don't really have ranges where you can go rent guns and, and or go pay a, a range fee, you know, twenty dollars an hour to to yeah. use the uh, use the shooting in Massachusetts. Range. Yeah, said. we don't we don't have oh, any. Wow. Okay. As it's not a rule, but generally we don't have those. So here in, in free America, you can just come down and, and say, listen, you know what? I want to go shooting on a Saturday afternoon. Nice um, you know, you got nothing to do. You got the day off. You want to go uh, turn some money into hot brass? Mm -hmm. You can go do that, but not so much in Massachusetts. So okay. uh, so are you going to come shooting again? Or are you going to get yes, your license? I'm going to start and get my practice on a little bit more. Nice. And then, yes, I want to become licensed. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, Ongoing education is, is super important. Yeah. Um, I talk to plenty of people that are gun owners, not new gun owners, that think that, well, well I'm just going to, you know, yeah. carry a gun around and, and people aren't going to bother me. And that's not necessarily the case. You hope that they don't bother you. But people that carry guns usually pay more attention to their surroundings mm -hmm. so they don't get in situations mm -hmm. where they might have to use mm -hmm. it. So. Uh, you make a purchase in that's my mindset next year next year when I come back yeah maybe we'll have another little follow-up and see what you yes. purchased and what you're carrying and and how you're carrying it and, okay. and see how you're doing next year sounds great all yep. right very cool what else can be what any, any other closing thoughts well, other than that, I really enjoyed this time that I spent with you guys and it was a great experience for me cool First, and it won't be the last. I love it. I, yeah, 
I Boom. intend on coming back again and I'm gonna continue my practice and that's where I'm gonna go to recoil. Excellent. Yep. Easy. Yeah. All right, listen, as we're sitting here at a stoplight, check mm -hmm. out the self-defense, uh, sorry, check out the Second Amendment Foundation at saf.org. Check out the second, uh, the Citizens Committee for this. I gotta remember this, I can't okay. I'm driving. <laughs> Um, check out the CCRBKA, the Committee for the Citizens' Right to Keep and Bear Arms. Check out all of your favorite pro-freedom podcasts at Self Defense Radio Network, okay. uh, which is SDRN.us. And uh, we are uh, we're going to be zing belt. <laughs> hey now, I got to be careful on the stop and short. Um, check out SDRN.us, all your favorite pro-freedom podcasts. Cassandra, thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, this was awesome. Me. Yes, I, I love I wanna, it. I want to. I want to thank uh, Tanisha for for gathering up women to be on the show because it felt weird for me to go in and say, "Who hasn't shot a gun before? <laughs> Raise your hand." Oh, no. And then Charlie pick out your women. I'm like, that doesn't feel good. I know. Like that's that's not a good thing for me. <laughs> and if I I probably won't see Tanisha again because I got to get back to my post. But tell her the red shirt and the curly red hair said thank you so oh, much. Oh, I absolutely will. I absolutely <laughs> She's will. She's great. She is. Um, th so thanks to Tanisha for organizing this. Thanks for yes. Rick Ector. Actually, maybe it's the other way around. Thanks to Tanisha and to Rick Ector. Yes. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed these little series of videos and little interviews. And we shall talk to you next time. Thanks All a lot. Right. Thank you so much.